Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Maras of the Omidis, men eating horses. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. The Maras of the Omidis were four magnificent, wild, uncontrollable men eating horses. They belonged to the giant Diomedes, king of Thrace, a son of Phares and Kyrene, who lived on the shores of the Black Sea. Vukephalos, Alexander the Great's horse, was said to be descendant from these Maras. One labor of Heracles was to steal them. In one version of the story, Heracles brought Avderus, one of his close friends, and some other youths to help him. They took the Maras and were chased by Diomedes and his men. Heracles was not aware that the horses were kept tethered to a bronze manga because they were wild, man-eating and uncontrollable, and Heracles left Avderus in charge of the horses while he fought Diomedes, but Avderus was eaten. In revenge, Heracles fed Diomedes to his own horses, then founded Avdera next to the boy's tomb. In another version, Heracles stayed awake so that he didn't have his throat cut by Diomedes in the night, and cut the chain binding the horses. Having scared the horses onto the high ground of a peninsula, Heracles quickly dug a trench through the peninsula, filling it with water and thus rendering it an island. When Diomedes arrived, Heracles killed him with an axe, the one used to dig the trench, and fed the body to the horses. Eating made the horses calmer, and Heracles took the opportunity to bind their mouths shut, and easily took them back to King Evristheus, who dedicated the horses to Hera. In some versions, they were allowed them to roam freely around Argos, Having become permanently calm, but in others, Evristeus ordered the horses taken to Olympus to be sacrificed to Zeus, but Zeus refused them, and instead sent wolves, lions, and bears to kill them. Origin When the sun is in the constellation of Aquarius, the constellation Pegasus rises. Pegasus in early Greece was considered to contain four very bright stars, making a square. It was only in later times that the fourth star, Alpheras, was considered part of Andromeda. By reassigning the fourth star, Pegasus changed from being a horse with a square body into being a horse with a wing, the square body changing into a triangular wing, giving rise to the wing horse myth. Bright stars were considered to be malevolent and wild, those leading to the earlier Pegasus square being considered four evil horses, the animals being horses due to the overall shape assigned to the constellation. Pegasus, as a whole, appears to be feeding, in particular it aims its head towards Aquarius, a man, suggesting a man-eating nature. Since the horses are above the ecliptic, they cannot be said to have died, and those must have been caught, since the sun is able to pass them. Aquarius itself was said to represent the god who flattered the earth, the water it seems to pour, which sometimes includes the constellation of Eridanus as a river, was said to depict this by the Greeks. Some versions of the myth of the Mars of Diomedes hold that Heracles created a river around the stable of the Mars. According to the Trojan War epics, King Diomedes, the hero of Argo, who fought against the god Ares during the war, stole horses from the stables of King Ressus of Thrace. Since Heracles was the hero of Argo, and since Diomedes of Argo was perceived as already owning the horses, Diomedes had to take the place of Ressus in the story, becoming the villainous enemy of Argo, descended from Ares. Let us finish with the following saying. Remember the Tolis opinion, Marcus Aurelius. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.